Hi y'all, it's Sky, and thanks for visiting my channel. Welcome to this Diamond Art Club sneak peek. This one is pretty special because we are getting ready for Valentine's. So this is the Valentine's release. I don't know how many kits we're going to have, but I do know this is one of them. And this one is XOXO Heart by Gail Flores. And isn't that cute? You guys know I'm loving the colors. I can't wait to open up this kit and see the drills and see how many pinks we have because I'm feeling like there's going to be some pink in this. Anyway, we'll get into that in just a minute. <laughs> this is a square drill kit. We can tell from the blue square here and the blue theming on the box. On the back here, we have got some information about how diamond painting works and the kit contents. And then on the side here, as always, we've got a QR code to scan for 10% off. I'm gonna remove this outer plastic real quick so that we can get into the box itself. All right, the plastic is off, but before we dive right into this box, I do wanna say a big thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending me this kit to share with you guys. And I also wanna tell you the release information. So this one is going to release tomorrow. So it's a Wednesday release, tomorrow, January the 18th. And that is going to be at 9 a.m. Pacific time or 12 p.m. Eastern time. So set your alarms or make sure you're signed up to get notifications, whatever it is that you do to remember your release window. Now, let's see what we've got. Here is the toolkit. We will look at that. Here's the smaller sticker. We're also going to look at that. You just pull this canvas out. Let me give you a closer look at this smaller sticker here. So this is just going to give you a small picture of the image and give you some information about the kit, the dimensions, the title, the artist name, things like that. You can peel this off and put it in your logbook or you can stick it on the side or bottom of your box or wherever it is going to be the most help to you. And then here is the toolkit. This is going to have everything you need to get started diamond painting and I'm going to show you all the contents here in just a second. Here is the toolkit in all its glory. First we have a bag of baggies. You can use these for kitting up or for storage. We have got multi-placers. We've got a seven and a four placer if you enjoy multi-placing. And because this is a square drill kit, it comes with these sharp tweezers with the Diamond Art Club branding. Let me show you how sharp they are. So definitely use this plastic cover to avoid injuries. Then we have got a diamond painting pin with this grippy or squishy. It has this pretty glitter in there. That's so nice. This one kind of gives me like night sky vibes because of the color and the color does vary. So you may not get this color, but all of the colors are really pretty. Then we have got our red heart wax in this cute little container with a lid. And we've got a diamond painting tray. Let me take these things out of it so that we can look at it closer. It also has a stopper here. Now I have noticed that a lot of the newer toolkits are coming with a white tray instead of a clear tray. So you may get that, but these are also very good trays and they are still coming with a lot of toolkits, obviously. So if you get this one, don't be alarmed. If you get a white one, don't be alarmed. Everything is great in these toolkits. The next thing we've got is this pretty washi tape. I like this pattern here. And a night, this has kind of got a Valentine's -y vibe because of the colors there. So what people often use washi tape for is to tape around the edges of their canvas. There's like a sticky edge that sits outside of the drill field. So it's not gonna get covered up by drills. So you kind of want to keep that tidy. Uh, things like pet hair or dust or sleeve fuzzies or things like that can get on it. So if you cover it with washi, that's not going to happen. You can also use the washi to section off your diamond painting into more manageable sections if you like to do that. And then we've got this cute dolphin cover minder. So a cover minder has two magnets on the back. You just separate them like that. You put this one underneath your canvas and then you'll pull the plastic cover on your diamond painting back to where you want to work. And then when you set this down, those two will snap together just like that. And it'll hold that plastic out of your way while you're working. 
Okay, I've got the toolkit put away. So now we can open this bag and check out, well, first we'll check out the things that came with the canvas and then we'll check out the canvas itself. I'm gonna try to get the drills to come out. I'm so excited to see the colors. We are gonna look at all of these things. But first, whoops, first I'm gonna drop everything. Oh, the drills, oh my goodness. Oh, look at that orange. Oh, the pinks, the reds. Oh, I love this so much. Oh, this is right up my alley with these colors. This is definitely, definitely Valentine's vibe, but I think that I kind of have a year round Valentine's vibe because I love every shade of pink. And I think, I think every shade is in here. <laughs> Okay, we will look at these drills one by one later. Not right now, but I do want to point out that Diamond Art Club puts a label on their drill packaging. So if you store your drills separately from your canvas, you will be able to match those up because you'll have a label there. The next thing we need to take a look at is some of the stuff that I dropped just a second ago. This is a little thank you booklet. It is going to have some information inside this QR code here is going to take you to a video with step-by-step -step instructions for how to diamond paint. This one here will take you to the VIP Facebook group, which I highly recommend joining. There's a coupon code in here. And then these two, one of these will take you to the Diamond Art Club app. But just if you have an iPhone, you'll use this one. If you have an Android, you'll use this one. I highly recommend the app as well. And then this is our larger sticker sheet. So this has the same information as the smaller sticker sheet, except it has a start and end date here so you can track your progress. So this is also great for a log book. Let me give you a little bit closer look at this image now that we can see it bigger. And down here, we've got the dimensions. So this kit is going to be 17 by 22 inches or 42.8 by 55.8 centimeters. So a real manageable size. You'll, you'll be able to tell when we unroll it. Then also over here, we can see that we've got 34 colors and how many of them are ABs? So any color code under 150 is an AB. So it looks like we've got four of those. We will investigate that further when we pull all the drills out of that package. I do want to show you this for some reason I always have the hardest time getting these to peel up in videos it's not hard to peel up in real life <laughs> I'm making it look way harder than it is but these all peel off individually so you can put each one on the container that you're using to hold that color it'll make kitting up really simple see look I just ran my finger down this side and this one wants to peel up <laughs> it's very easy okay now we will put this away and take a look at the canvas. Let me see if I can figure out, okay, this is going to be the top, so I may have to rotate my camera angle a little bit, but we will unroll it first. Oh, look at all these colors. I love this. Oh, such a mood this is. Oh, I love it. It's so happy, so romantic feeling, or, you know, it. romance to me doesn't necessarily mean like a love relationship. Sometimes when I say romance, I just kind of mean like the aesthetic. This one definitely has a romance aesthetic to it. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I am going to flip this over and roll it backwards because you can, you can see that it's trying to flatten out, but the ends are still curling a little bit. Now, Diamond Art Club canvases will flatten out entirely on, on their own. Like you can see just where I've been pushing the corners, it's already starting to lay down. You don't even have to push on it. It'll just lay down by itself. But for the purposes of this video, so that we can look at it flat right now, I'm going to flip it over and roll it backwards. This is not going to hurt it because it is a poured glue canvas, so that is safe to do. Okay, I have rolled it backwards. You can see it is much flatter now. I also did some adjusting with the camera so you can see it the right way. I do think I've managed to get it all in the frame for once, so I don't know if I need to do that slow pan that I typically do because usually I can't get the whole diamond painting in the picture at one time. Maybe I can just insert a little pan over quickly while I'm speaking right now so that you can see the whole thing. Maybe I can get rid of that glare a little bit because I know that the 
light is giving us a little bit more glare than I would typically have. I'm, I'm filming this later in the day. Usually I would use a lot of natural light and we don't get as much glare, but I'm having to use overhead lights for this. So sorry about that. Some of my first impressions on looking at the canvas here, kind of whenever I saw this image for the first time, I was thinking that it might be a lot of color blocking. And don't ask me why I was thinking that because I mean, you can see this little thumbnail image down here. There is a lot of color and a lot going on, but for some reason I just thought that this, like this whole section here was gonna be this one pink color and <laughs> I don't know. I but. What I'm telling you is that I kind of had the wrong impression that it is, it's definitely not a confetti piece and we'll talk about color blocking versus confetti later, but it's not just big, huge chunks, big swaths of one color like I thought it was going to be. So if that's information that's valuable to you, there you go. I do also love just how legible everything is like you can tell that that's a heart you can tell that that's xoxo that's always a, a concern with diamond paintings not typically a concern with diamond art club diamond paintings but you always like to know if there's words on there if you can read the words whenever it becomes a diamond painting so in this case i am very pleased with what i am seeing I definitely am curious about how these flowers are going to work up. They they look like they are rendered really well, but they they are so subtle in the original image that I'm just I'm just very curious. I know that it's going to look really really good. But as of right now, I have not seen the rendering like in the preview on Instagram or Facebook. You guys will be able to see it. Well, I will also be able to see it later on today. But I'm filming this earlier, so I haven't seen that rendering yet. So I'm really curious how they did those subtle flowers in the background. I know I keep just pointing at these two as if those are the only two flowers. These are all flowers in the background. It's like made up of flowers pretty much. So I... I don't know why, I'm just mostly drawn to those two, so I kept just pointing at them. Anyway, next thing we're going to do, we are going to look at the drills one by one. So if you don't enjoy this part, I'll have a timestamp down below where you can just skip to the next part, and that's going to be where we're going to look at where all of the ABs go. First, we've got a really small strand. This is 3713 and 3855. Then we have 967, 3827, 3716, 957, 605. Okay, I didn't like what the lighting was doing, so I've moved just a little bit. <laughs> this is 721, 3706, 3825, 3341, 892, This surprising amount of 608. We've got one, two, three, four bags of this pretty bright orange, and then 722. Two bags of 3340. 107. So this is our first AB, this pretty red color. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis. So these drills have a special coating on the top. I hope that is picking up in the camera. These just have a different shine than a regular drill. Let me show you a regular drill. These are very sparkly, but these have an iridescent shine to them that is just so, so pretty. So this one we were just looking at, this is 891 and we have two bags of that. 127 so this is our next ab i love this one this pretty like ivory color so so nice then we have 321 3824 124 so this is another ab this pretty lavender color so nice and then 893 894, 604, 603, 956, two bags of that, 
two bags of 606 and then two bags of 141. So two bags of this AB. This is the white AB and I hope that you are able to see that coating on the top. This one is so, so pretty. 353, 3078, 3854, 3708, 963, 602. Okay, that is all of the drills. So if you've skipped to here, then welcome back. We are going, well, at first I'm going to drop things. Okay, I'm, I'm getting it together. <laughs> Sorry about all the noise. I have got all of the ABs here separated from their strands so we can look at where they go. So the first one we're going to look at is the red one. This is 107. It is symbol number one. And this one is very well dispersed because there, well, there's a lot of red in this. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like on the canvas. There it is. A nice little section of it right there. And it is going to be a highlight in pretty much every spot where red is present. That is an X. That is not a one. I'm so sorry. Go, go up this way. There is some more of that. It is outlining right here. I will lay this down and just point some out. I think you get the general idea. It, there's a good bit of it through there. A good bit of it in the center there. There's some over here. <laughs> there is some up here in this top corner. A good bit of outline done in that AB there. And then of course, over here in our bright red rose. Let's get you a little closer. Most of this is that X that I'm mistaken for the one down in the other corner, but there is a good bit of highlight with that AB in this area as well. So that is the red AB. The next one is going to be the lavender color, this 124. So a little bit smaller bag here, so not a huge, huge amount of this one. Let's see if I can show you how it looks up close here. So it's just this nice, soft, soft purple, soft lavender. And it is going to be in most of the places where we're going to see light purple, of course. So up through here here. Nice little section of it right there. Some over here. Let me check this side. Yep, we've got some over here as well. A little section there. Not tons and tons, of course, since we've got a small bag. That is all of that AB. And then the next one, we've got this 127, I absolutely love this one. This is the number three symbol. And I was looking for this in all the wrong places. So I was looking, I was kind of thinking it was gonna be in these peachier sections. No, it is way lighter than that. So it's this color. I would, if I didn't know that this was white, I would mistake this for white. So it's just that very light ivory color. And I have found it mostly as little highlights and also I believe it's kind of like shadowing here uh, where the letters are because you can see some of it around here and then there's some up here or over here not a huge amount of that one but like I said it wasn't where I expected it to be but I think it's going to look great and then our last one is the 141. So we do have a bunch of this one and you probably already spotted. It is the number four symbol. So it's the heart and the lettering. So the XOXO, all of that is AB. So that's gonna look amazing. And then also just some little sections at the top where we look to the, the three AB is right beside those sections. So that's going to look nice. And then just a little pop of white AB right there as well. A little bit right there, a little bit right there, but mostly 
most all of the bulk of the <laughs> white AB is going to be in the lettering and the heart. Okay, now that we've taken a look at the ABs, I do want to touch on color blocking versus confetti, which I know I've already kind of talked about earlier in the video, but I definitely wanted to show you the canvas with that in mind. So there are some blocks, but I feel like at me as a single placer, as a person who loves confetti, I don't think that this is too much blocking. This is definitely doable for me. Like there's plenty of, of changes. Now, the one thing I did notice is this P symbol, it is, the, there are some blocks of this. And I did go back and look and when we were looking at the drills and we found those like gazillion bags of 608, that P symbol is the, the 608. So I guess it makes sense that we can see a lot of big blocks of that. So you see this big, block right here. Also, I'm, I'm sure you can all appreciate how I repack these drills. This is why I get so excited when I take it out of the box, because once I do it, it looks terrible. Anyway, more about color blocking versus confetti. So these sections here through the middle, you can see they are blocks, but they're not overwhelming blocks. This is, this is not like a background of all one color or big sections of just one thing over and over you you are going to be able to break it up like here here is a pretty large section and there's more of that p color there and then here is a pretty large section and we've already talked about how all of this is going to be that a b so this would be great for multi-placing but in the center here like i think that a single placer can still have fun with this i mean i'm gonna have fun with it i'm a single placer but i was definitely I'm, I'm not saying that it's at all a confetti piece, but I definitely thought that there would be less variation than there is. So I'm really pleased with that. I think this would be fun for anyone. Okay, I think that is all that I have to tell you today. So once again, I want to say a big thank you to Diamond Art Club. And also I want to remind you that this kit releases tomorrow, January 18th at 9 a.m. Pacific time or 12 p.m. Eastern time. So be ready if you want to snag this kit. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!